Hello everyone, this is Dr. Nikita Nanwani Nathani here, back with another very, very good mnemonic of the day. A very, very confusing topic always, but with this mnemonic, we will never, ever forget this. And this is about Trendelenburg sign. Remember, this is Trendelenburg sign and not Trendelenburg test, which is done for the lower limb veins uh, valve competency. This is Trendelenburg sign, which is basically done for the hip abductors, the gluteus, medius and minimus right so the question here is when standing on the right leg if the left hip drops it is injury to which of the following nerves could be possible right superior gluteal left superior right inferior or left inferior so just think your uh, answer in the mind and see at the end of the video whether you've got the answer right i'll be discussing the concept and the mnemonic here so the very easy trick first let me tell you the mnemonic is in the trendelenburg sign the easy mnemonic to remember is, so what happens in Trendelenburg is, look at this. When the patient stands on one leg, we look for the opposite sided pelvis, the opposite hip, whether it is dropping. So if the, when the patient stands on one leg, the opposite hip is dropping, then it is abnormal. Which side is abnormal? Now that is where the query is. So remember that on what side the patient stands, stands is A N. Remember, that is the abnormal side. Okay, that is the abnormal side. So, stance is abnormal. A N tells you the standing wala side is abnormal. What drops? Drops O P, the opposite side drops. Okay, the opposite side drops. Now, this is the super uh, amazing mnemonic basically to remember this uh, Trendelenburg sign. So remember, standing side is abnormal and dropping is opposite side. So when going back to the question here, when standing on the right leg, the left hip is dropping, standing on the right, so standing wala is abnormal, so the right side becomes abnormal here. So the options that we rule out is the option B and option D because it is the, not the left side which is abnormal, it is the right side which is abnormal. Now whether it is superior gluteal nerve or the inferior gluteal nerve, superior gluteal nerve supplies the muscles gluteus medius and minimus inferior gluteal supplies the gluteus maximus remember gluteus maximus naam se sirf maximus hai just by the name it is maximus but actually it is inferior it's like naam bade darshan chote to naam bada hai maximus but it is supplied by the inferior gluteal nerve same holds true for its insertion also. Only the name is big, but it is not inserted on the greater trochanter. Okay, so the gluteus muscle which is not inserted on the greater trochanter is the gluteus maximus. Medius and minimus are inserted on the greater trochanter. Another important question. So the answer here is right superior gluteal nerve palsy. So remember that when standing on the right leg, if the left hip is dropping, so which side is abnormal standing on the right? So the right side is abnormal. It is called as positive right Trendelenburg sign. So positive sign is abnormal. Abnormal side is the right because that's the side where the patient is standing. So in this image here, this should be normal. When the patient is standing here, this is the right side. We are looking from behind. This is the left side. The left side is not dropping. So this is normal. Standing on the right side, the left side is dropping. So it is the right side which is abnormal. Standing wala is abnormal. So it is right gluteus medius weakness or it is right superior gluteal nerve lesion. So when it is on the right stance, standing is the stance. That means the opposite side droops. Okay, the opposite side drops. That is what we need to know. The concept here is basically understand this like this is a weighing machine. The action of the abductor muscles of the hip is like a weighing machine. So we have the weighing machine here. These are the abductor muscles of one side. So this is the weighing scale. You have the abductor muscles on one side. When they are contracting, they are trying to take the opposite side up. So if this weight is less, so this opposite side will drop. That means if there is weakness on this side, the opposite side will drop. How do we take the weight? The weight which is, uh, this is going to be lower down. It is going to be the side where the patient is standing. So this is basically the abductor side, the test that the side that we are testing and the opposite side is the load. This is the power. This is the load, right? So now here you see that this is the power, the abductor muscles here inserting on the greater trochanter, gluteus medius muscle. When it will contract, it will take the opposite side up. If there is weakness of this one, 
the opposite side will not come up it will drop down right so that's remember the concept of the weighing scale basically okay that's the concept of the weighing scale so similar image that we have seen standing on this side opposite side is dropping so the weakness is on the standing side so the easy mnemonic we have seen stand side is abnormal drop opposite side drops okay that makes it very easy so now if i ask you to evaluate now there's a patient or let me get back to this okay if the patient is standing on the left side okay if the patient is standing on the left side and the pelvis is dropping to the right side then what side trendelenburg sign it is positive is it the left side positive or is it the right side positive do let me know in the comments i hope this mnemonic helps you remember the trendelenburg sign the abnormal side which is that uh, for a longer time thank you so much i'll come up with more such mnemonic videos until then goodbye take care and keep studying keep revising and keep winning Bye.